fallen World War II Marine is back home tonight after a DNA match 77 years after he was killed. Action News Now reporter Esteban Reynoso is live in Red Bluff. So Esteban, you spoke with the man's niece tonight. What is she saying about this discovery? World War II Marine Thomas Frank Johnson's remains were found just this past year in 2019, and that DNA match led investigators to his niece. She says this is a homecoming years in the making. Um, a few years ago, I got a letter from the DPAA. It was talking about um, MIA POWs, and I had two uncles that were um, killed in Tarawa. Growing up, Kathleen Venata heard stories of her uncles through her father. Um, so I went and they were asking for DNA from family members. I was very interested because that's all my dad ever talked about growing up was his brothers killed in Tarawa. Then there was a match. Last May they called me and said that they located one of my uncles, which I was just shocked. 77 years after he died in battle, Thomas Frank Johnson's body was found in the South Pacific in the Republic of Kiribati. He was one of the missing rows and so um, it was very amazing and I was very happy. Johnson's remains were flown to Sacramento where an entourage of fire trucks, police cruisers and the Patriot Guard were met with honks and cheers on the way to Red Bluff. It was very emotional. I mean, all the way up. There were people across the overpasses with flags and waving and said, welcome home, Marine. It was amazing. I know from firsthand experience, they had a rough time the rest of their life. I think it's the greatest thing going. I really do. I feel for the family, all the years they went through this, never knew. Venata says Johnson will be buried next to his brother, her father, in Reading. What does it mean to finally have a place where you can go and he's there? Oh, that means a lot to me because I go visit my parents all the time. I go to a beautiful cemetery. Thomas Johnson was taken in that entourage to this funeral home in Red Bluff, and now Venata tells me that this job isn't over yet. Although they do have Thomas here now, her uncle Hugh, who died just days after Thomas, his remains are still missing. Live in Red Bluff, Esteban Reynoso for Action News Now coverage you can count on. Thank you, Esteban. Now, Thomas Frank Johnson will be buried at the Northern California Veterans Cemetery in Igo this coming Monday.